Hello friends, so in this video we are going to talk about analysis of square beam with uniform distributed load. So let's start. Let us consider a real life example like a man sitting on a bench and I will convert this example like this. So there is one beam and on this beam one uniform distributed load is there. I have considered a support like a fixed support on the left end and roller support on another end. Length of this beam is capital L and it's a square beam so depth and thickness are same. These are the specifications. So for the simulation I am considering length as 1 meter, uniform distributed load as 10 kN per meter, depth and thickness as 50 mm and uh, Young's modulus as 2 into 10 raised to 11 Pascal. We are going to see the simulated result and also we are going to see the analytical results and we are going to calculate percentage of error. So let's start with simulated result. So open ANSYS workbench, go to the static structural, drag the static structural on the workbench. Then you can open engineering data. Different materials are there. By using this engineering data sources, you can add your own material by using this. Like uh, in the general material, there are different materials are there. Structural steel, stainless steel is also there. Like this, you can add the material. And you can check their property also. So again, you can click on engineering data sources. And you can see the properties like for the structural steel, I can see the properties by using this. So for my case, the Young's modulus is 2, 2 uh, into 10 raised to 11 Pascals. You can change this unit and you can check what is your Young's modulus. And Poisson's ratio and keeping, keeping as 0.3 only. So this is my engine data. Uh, you can add different materials. So let's close this, go to the geometry. So here you have to... Uh, create your geometry so uh, first set the units so unit i am considering as millimeter then i'll choose xy plane so on this xy plane i'll draw the sketch of uh, uh, first rectangle then i'll give the dimensions so general dimensions i'm choosing so horizontal dimension is 50 mm well, vertical dimension is also 50 mm uh, let's make it at the center only so let's give original uh, dimension, this dimension as uh, 25 mm and this vertical dimension from this line to this line as 25 mm. And now we want to extrude this, so you can extrude by using this, just click on extrude. Uh, geometry since there is only one geometry, so just click on apply, otherwise uh, by using this XY plane, by using this sketch, you can select the geometry. Then uh, on the extrude directly you can generate the extrude and you can check the isometric view. So by default it is considering uh, thick, uh, the length uh, in the third direction as 30 mm. So you can change this. So I will uh, keep this as 1000 mm. Then again I will click on uh, generate. So you can see our beam is generated. And go to the model. Okay, you can see the geometry. So now you can assign the material also. So right now my material by default it is structural steel but you can choose other material also. So I am going with this structural steel only. There are no non-linear effects so you can click on this no. And thermal effects, thermal strain effects are also not there. So I will click that on no. Then uh, in the mesh directly you can generate the mesh. I can check how many uh, nodes are there, how many elements are there and I can note it down or I will just uh, find this mesh a little bit. So I will uh, just click on mesh and in the element size you can keep like 20 mm and again you can update your mesh. So now the nodes are uh, 2814, elements are 450. Now for this uh, nodes and elements, we can check the results. Again, if you want, you can find this. Uh, now uh, go to the static structure, right click on the static structure and apply the fixed support. So, you know, as per our theory, fixed support is there on the left end and uh, uh, roller support is there on the right end. So let's try to apply this on the geometry. So I'm going to click on this edge. So this age I am going to consider for the fixed support and after that click on apply. 
second boundary condition is roller support that is nothing but displacement so click on displacement now carefully you have to select uh, the other edge uh, so i will rotate this and we want to select the edge so this edge is there for the roller support i'm going to click on apply so in this case so this is my edge you can see so x component I don't want any kind of motion in the x uh, x direction. So here you can click on the zero. In y direction also, I want uh, uh, I don't want any kind of motion. You can uh, type zero, or you can click on this arrow and click uh, uh, constant. There can be motion. There can be movement in the z direction. So these are two supports. Now apply the force. Right click on uh, static structure. Go to the insert and click on the force. Now it's UDL, so I'm going to apply the force to the entire top surface. So I'm going to consider the surface or face and this top surface. A magnitude, uh, now you have to calculate the magnitude. So this is our problem. Our length is uh, uh, 1 meter and our UDL is 10 kN per meter. So 10 kN per meter multiplied by this length, that is 10 kN only. So 10 kN force is applied on this top surface. So I'm putting the value in terms of Newton. One more thing, instead of vector, I'm going to consider components and geometry apply. So just click uh, in front of this Y component and we want uh, the direction of force in the downward direction. So you can see uh, the Y direction is in, it is in upward direction, positive Y direction. So I'm going to put the minus value, minus 10,000. Then uh, I guess uh, I have applied all the boundary conditions. I'll go to the solution, right click on the solution and uh, insert deformation. We want to measure the deformation, so directional deformation we can see. So we are interested uh, in deformation in the y direction. Just click uh, orientation in front of orientation and click y axis. So right click on uh, solution, insert stresses and equivalent stresses that we are interested just i'll arrange this window okay uh, then you can right click on the solution and click on solve so we have got the solution so just click on directional deformation we can see this uh, deformation it is minus 1.26 again it is uh, coming minus because it is going in negative y direction that's why it is in minus and uh, you can observe this uh, directional deformation you can see the 2d view also for this directional deformation you can click on this animation you can see animation in 2d view or we can see the animation in 3d view also so this is my animation if you don't want this mesh structure you can click on a result on this edges and no wireframe or if you want to see the undeformed model also then you can click on this also. So it will uh, it will show you the undeformed model as well as deformed model. So this is for the uh, uh, deformation. Likewise, you can see the equivalent stresses also. So these are equivalent stresses. So you can see the magnitude of equivalent stress also. And these are stresses in 2D view. So suppose I want uh, what is the uh, stress at the top fiber, or what is the stress in the neutral axis. Then for that, you can add the path. For that, go to the model. Right click on the model. Go to the insert. Then construction geometry and path. Just click on this. So you will get this one more tab that is construction geometry and path is there. So you can click on this path. So here you have to mention that path. Uh, what is the starting point of that and what is the ending point of that. So starting point I am considering 0, 0, 0 and ending point x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is 0 and z coordinate i will consider as 1000 mm so this is my path 1 to 2 you can see you can remain this uh, rename this path also so just click on rename i will add one more path insert path and this time i want path on the at the center of the top surface So this is my second path, I can rename this path 
and we can see what are the uh, equivalent stresses in the center axis. So uh, just right click on this equivalent stresses and uh, uh, go with the duplicate without results. So it will duplicate this equivalent stresses without considering the results. So instead of geometry selection, I will consider the path and we have two paths. So out of, out of that, I will consider center axis. We just want to evaluate this result. So we can see what are the uh, stresses at the center. So as per the theory, there should not be any stress at the center, uh, at the neutral axis. But uh, in the FA results, we are getting some stresses. So likewise, we can see the deformation also. Uh, so I will see the deformation on the top center path. So again, I will uh, click on direction deformation and duplicate it. And in geometry selection, I have to consider that path. So that path is top center path. So again, I will evaluate all results. So this is my deformation for my uh, top uh, center path. Likewise, we can see the normal stresses also. So just right click on the solution, go to the insert, stresses and normal stresses. Normal stresses we have to see uh, with the Z axis. Again, uh, just right click on this uh, normal axis and evaluate all results. So you can see on the top fiber, uh, the stress value is minus 60.05 megapascal. And on bottom fiber, it is 60.05 megapascal. Uh, at the surface, we want to plot the results. So for that, we have to consider one surface. Now for that, we need one more coordinate system. So this is global coordinate system that is at 0, 0, 0. Now we want one more coordinate system. So right click on this coordinate system. Click on insert coordinate system. So this is our local coordinate system. For this local coordinate system, our uh, uh, dimensions are based on global coordinate system. And the dimensions are x0, y0, and z500 mm. So this is our local coordinate system. So we'll create the surface. And for this uh, surface, we'll consider the local coordinate system. Likewise, you can create different surfaces, different coordinate systems. And we can check the normal stress along that uh, surface. So just right click on the normal uh, stress, uh, duplicate it without results and uh, this normal stress you want to produce for that surface only. So there is only one surface, so I'm going to select that. Then uh, evaluate all results. So now you can observe the stresses in that, uh, on that surface. So you can see the maximum and minimum stresses also. So suppose uh, we want these images, so you know in report uh, we have to give the images, so we can uh, produce these images. So suppose I want I want image of the mesh, so just click on the mesh and just I'll consider the isometric view. Then go to the home and in the images click on figure. So this figure is there, you can rename it again. So I'll say mesh underscore figure. So likewise uh, you can create the image of the uh, uh, boundary conditions, whatever the boundary conditions we have added. So just click on this uh, static structure and again click on images and figure. So I will re rename this as boundary condition. Likewise, uh, suppose I want uh, the deformation. So deformation also, uh, this image also we can create. So you can see whatever this image is there right now, uh, the exact same image is captured and this will be there in this figure. Likewise, uh, we can see the uh, stresses also. Those, so this is the stresses at the neutral axis. So that also you can add. So click on this equivalent stress and click on images, figure. Likewise, you can add the graphs also. So suppose uh, I have got this graph and I want to add this graph in my report. So click on this and uh, then go to the chart. Click on the chart. So this chart will be added in your report. So again, you can rename this. Likewise, uh, we can see the deformation also. So this is deformation of the top layer. So that chart also we can add. Likewise, you can add the uh, different charts and images. Now, uh, suppose whatever the things are there, you have added. So after that, uh, uh, click on report preview. Just click on that. So automatically report is generated. Ansys will go through all these things and it will create the report. 
to generate the report. So this is our ge geometry. So you can see the report has generated and all the required things are there in this report. So what are the units are there? That is also there. Then geometry conditions, coordinate systems, then mesh. This is our mesh image. That is also there. Then the static structure, our boundary conditions are there. That image is also there. Then this is our uh, deformation, deformation figure. You can see this is our name, deformation figure is there. Then this is the deformation uh, equine stress. This is stress at neutral axis and the chart. Likewise, you can see this uh, report. So whatever the things you required, you can add here and it will be generated in your report. Now you can print this report like this. Just click on print and uh, you can convert it into the PDF like this or you can publish it. You can save this document and later on you can analyze that. Okay. So this is my deformation. That value is uh, 1.26 in terms of mm. If you are not getting this in terms of mm, then you can click on units. So in the home units is there. You can click on this units and whatever the unit system you want, you can click on that. So you will get your uh, uh, values in that unit. So this is my unit that is in terms of mm. So 1.26. This is my maximum deformation. Uh, and uh, if I see the stress, maximum value of the stress, that is 60, 60 megapascal, that is the maximum value of the stress. So let's check this value with the analytical results. Now we'll try to see the analytical results. So this is for the deflection. So whatever our problem is there, uh, for this problem, if I see the deflection, the maximum deflection will be there at the center. So in order to find out uh, the maximum deflection, this is the formula. I'm just putting the values and my answer is around 1.25 mm. This is my analytical result or calculated result we can say for the maximum deflection. Likewise, we'll try to see the maximum stress also. So by using the fractural formula, we can find out this maximum stress. So we know that uh, the bending will happen like this and uh, that by using the fractural formula, we can find out the stress value. So just I'm putting the values, yeah, yeah. if you want in detail, you can uh, pause this video and you can check these values. So maximum value of stress I'm getting that is 60 megapascal. Now I will cross check these values with my simulated values. So in the simulation, by using this uh, node number, whatever the node numbers are, I do have um, and elements I do have, for that I got uh, the stress as 60.04 and here my value of stress is 60 megapascal. So I'm getting very close results, so I can say that the mesh structure is uh, very good mm, and then uh, deformation also I can check so deformation I'm getting as 1.2603 in terms of mm so by using the formula I'm getting 1.25 mm so again if you want you can go to the mesh you can go to the mesh again you can uh, reduce the element size like I'll uh, reduce it to the 10 mm and uh, again I'll generate that mesh update that mesh so now my ele uh, nodes are uh, 1 3 2 9 6 and elements are 2500 so for this again i can see what are the my values so again go to the solution and click on solve so again all the values will be uh, calculated so now in this case my deformation is minus 1.2608 mm and I think I did not got that much accuracy by changing the uh, number of uh, by changing the number of elements. But still, you can try this. And the stress value I got it is 60.036, and accurate value is 60. Now, by using this, we can find out percentage error. So this is my uh, error. So in this case, uh, I have considered the number of nodes as 13,296, number of elements as 2,500. So percentage of error I have got by using this. So uh, percentage of error in maximum deflection I got 0.86% and percentage of error in maximum stress it is 0.06%. So it's very small. So we can say that uh, we are getting approximately close results by using this uh, simulation. So thank you. Please like this video. Please comment if you have any doubt. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.